Welcome back to the 2023 Cigar of the Year Countdown on Cigar Coop, where I count down my top cigars of the past year. This has been an annual tradition on Cigar Coop since 2010, and this year marks the 14th consecutive year of this project. So today, coming in at the number 22 spot is the EP Carrillo Allegiance Sidekick. Now, the Allegiance is the fourth installment to EPC's Perez Carrillo line, which is their most premium line of cigars. The Allegiance is a cigar that Ernesto Perez Carrillo blended, but is actually produced at Oliva's Tabulisa factory in Esteli, Nicaragua. Now, this was the second project by EPC being produced outside its own Tabacalera La Alianza factory. There have been some other projects that the company has been doing. Um, just prior to the Allegiance, uh, the EPC Inch Nicaragua uh, was a, a project that um, they teamed up with Placencia to produce out of their factory. And then this past year, EPC announced that the short run 2023 would be produced out of Oscar Valadaris' factory in Honduras. The name Allegiance actually pays homage to the many partnerships and alliances that the Perez Carrillo family has forged over the years. And actually, in the case of the Allegiance Cigar, this is a very strong partnership in that um, Oliva actually last year had one of its Cuba Aliados projects produced at EPC's Tabacalera La Alianza factory. As for the Allegiance, this cigar features an Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper over all Nicaraguan tobaccos. Now, this is the first installment of the Perez Carrillo series to use a Sumatra wrapper. Now, while it's a new leaf as far as the Perez Carrillo series goes, it's not new to both Ernesto Perez Carrillo and Oliva, as both parties have developed successful cigars with this wrapper. The size um, is the sidekick, and this is a 5x50 Robusto. As for this cigar, the Allegiant Sidekick delivers a profile of wood, earth, fruit, and pepper notes. Now, I wouldn't say this is the most overly complex cigar, but what impressed me is the Allegiant Sidekick delivered excellent flavor from start to finish. And in particular, I was quite impressed how the flavors performed into the final third. A lot of times, the uh, flavors in the final third kind of fall down. And it's usually, I would, in most cases, it's it's definitely not the crescendo of flavor, so to speak, in in the uh, in the uh, flavor experience. Usually, it's those first two thirds where you're going to get the better flavor. But I would say the final third performed quite well here. As for the strength of this cigar, it was medium throughout the whole smoking experience. But what was interesting here, and if you're following the countdown, you'll understand what I'm talking about. The while the flavors started out medium bodied, uh, they did progress to medium to full bodied in the second half. So all the cigars thus far in the countdown have been medium strength, medium body. Uh, this is the first on this year's countdown to actually move into the medium to full uh, range as far as as uh, body goes. So uh, glad to see that. EPC is a, a company that's well known on this countdown. This is actually the eighth year that EPC has landed at least one cigar on the countdown. Uh, the most recent time EPC was on the countdown was in 2021. Now, since this cigar is made in Nicaragua, this is a Nicaragua-made cigar, and it is the fourth Nicaragua-made cigar to make the 2023 countdown thus far. So there you have it. That's our number 22 cigar of the year. Now, if you're interested in how this list was constructed, uh, you can check out our criteria. Go uh, to cigar coopcom click on the Cigar of the Year menu, and then... Click the 2023 entry, and you can follow the link and learn all about our criteria. So once again, the number 22 cigar for 2023 is the EP Carrillo Allegiance Sidekick. Tune in tomorrow. The countdown continues with number 21. Take care, everybody.